We will now call the December 20th, 2021 meeting to order. Uh, at this time, I would like to take a moment of silence for Mr. Dick Voss, who died several days ago at the age of 98, a longtime electrical inspector for the city of Belleville. So if we could have a moment of silence in his memory. Thank you very much. Uh, since the meetings are being videotaped, it is important that everyone speak directly into the microphone when speaking. And I'd like to remind you the explanation of the disaster plan. We would go exit directly out of this area right here up the ramp if we would happen to have a disaster. So at this time, I'd like to have Jenny call the roll call of aldermen. Alderman Hazel? Here. Alderman Whitaker? Here. Alderwoman Duco? Here. Alderman Alderwoman Aris? Here. Alderman Randall? Here. Alderman Ferguson? Here. Alderman Anthony? Here. Alderman Ovian? Here. Alderman Dentleman? Here. Alderwoman Schaefer? Here. Alderwoman Steele? Here. Alderman Rothweiler? Here. Alderman Elmore? Here. Alderman Wygon? Here. Alderman Wigington? Here. Alderwoman Sullivan? Here. All present, Mayor. Thank you. Now roll call of department heads. City Treasurer Beerman? Here. City Attorney Horner? Present. Police Chief Bill Clay? Here. Fire Chief J.P. Panay, Finance Director Jamie Matrit, Director of Public Works Jason Poole, Here. Director of Wastewater Randy Smith, Director of Library Leander Spearman, Here. Director of IT Scott Markovich, Here. City Engineer Sal Elcott, Here. Director of Health Housing Building Scott Tyler, Here. Director of Human Resources Seth Miller, Here. Director of Economic Development Planning and Zoning Clifford Cross, uh, Chief Panay and Randy Smith are excused and Jay God is here for Randy. Okay, thank you so much. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. We have a little statue today. You know what? Do they want to? Jenny just to? brought it to my attention that we have a lovely Boy Scouts group here. Would you like to come and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> no. <laughs> Could you loudly introduce yourself, your name, and where you're from, where your your troop number? What's your name? What's, What's your, your name? name? My name is Warnick Beatty. Warnick Beatty. And your name? Kinley Gray. Kinley. Gray. And what stop troop are you with? Eleven. Well, we thank you for being here tonight. And We're ready. thank you for your service to your community. Let's turn around and say the pledge. Okay, gentlemen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Let's have a big round of applause. Cathedral? Cathedral. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's some of my former campers. Oh, oh, that is wonderful. They'll have to come back when they get the merit badge and we'll introduce them to the uh, people in the community who are here at the city council meeting. Thank you so much. Okay, no public hearing this evening. And we have public participation, two to three minutes per person. Raise your hand if you would like to speak to the public to, uh, public participation this evening. Okay, hearing none, we will move on. Uh, I would like, uh, tonight we do not have presentation, recognitions, and appointments, so we will move on to the approval of minutes. I need a motion to approve City Council meeting minutes from December 6, 2021. So move, Wigginton. Schaefer second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? A's have it. Now claims, payroll, and disbursements. This is a motion to approve claims and disbursements in the amount of $819,471.55 
and payroll in the amount of $825,251.85. Steele, so moved. Eric, second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Good money. Okay, we're going to roll call. Sorry. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Aris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Obian? Aye. Gentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Thank you. Okay, number 10, we're going to read 10A and 10A1 together. I need a motion to read those together. No, nope, she's good. Oh, you don't need okay. to. Okay, motion to approve the treasurer's reports October and November 2021 and statement of cash and investment reports October and November 2021. Rothweiler, so moved. Second. Schaefer. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. So the motion carries. Now, oral reports from standing committees, special committees, and any other oral reports from the elected officials or staff. Um, City Clerk Meyer, if the council would agree for you to read them all, unless somebody has one particular item, since they pretty much pertain to the same thing, uh, if there's anything that ha would have to be held out, we could vote on that separately. If the council will agree uh, for you to read them all at the same time. I have no problem with that. You want me to read them? Uh, yes, I'll have Jenny read them. Motion approving an amendment to the tax increment redevelopment plan and redevelopment project for the city of Belleville redevelopment project area number three and extending the term to December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with St. Clair County for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Southwestern Illinois College for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Wolf Branch School District 113 for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Belleville Township High School District 201 for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Bell Valley School District 119 for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Whiteside School District 115 for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Belleville School District 118 for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with High School High Mount School District 116 for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an uh, intergovernmental agreement with Harmony MG School District 175 for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Signal Hill School District 181 for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with East St. Louis School District 189 for TIF 3 extension through December 29, 2033. Motion to approve the temporary relocation of administration offices including health, housing and building, code enforcement, engineering and economic development from 407 East Lincoln Street to 2600 West Main, West Wing during the first quarter of 2022. I have one thing. Yes, did we put in District 118 or did we skip that? Was it red? Yeah. It's red. Okay. I just want to double check. Okay. We have motions to approve all 13, um, all 13 oral reports. Do I have a second? No, and we a have motion. We have a first. Schaefer will make a motion. Okay. Any discussion? Yes. Mr. I'm Hazel. curious, in, in our packet, it had listed the values that were being paid to the school districts. 189 was not listed. Could I uh, get some numbers on 189? Uh, uh, District 189 has a very small portion of TIF 3 at the intersection of West Main Street and 157. The total amount of the tax is approximately... Um, I think less than $8,000 and their 50% uh, surplus declaration would be about uh, $3,500 roughly. Okay. All right. Jamie, you want to address that also? Uh, yeah, I was just going to confirm if these agreements would have been in place last year, their rebate would have been $3,200 approximately. Thirty-two. Hey, Jamie, while you're there, one mm -hmm. more question. 
do you have available, what's the total amount of money that TIF 3 generates, not to the city, but complete? So uh, last fiscal year, or the last collections were approximately uh, $13.2 million in total. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? Discussion, Brian? Mayor, just a, a note for a correction. In 11A3, the agreement with Southwestern Illinois College, the agreement presented uh, indicates documents provided to the East St. Louis School District. I believe that just needs to be updated to represent Swick College. On page two of that agreement, it says, if providing information to the district, send to the superintendent of District 189. Okay. Oh, that's, that's top of that, but we'll correct that. Thank you. Okay, thank you for bringing that to our attention. Any more discussion? Okay, let's have a roll call. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay, now motion from finance. Alderman Whitaker? I would like to do 11 v 2 separate. Is there any objection to doing the other two no. together? No, go ahead. No. 11B1, motion to approve budget amendments as recommended by the finance director, and 11B3, motion to waive formal bidding processes and approve one-time fees of $51,660 with control code, $9,780 with bare heating and cooling, and purchase of a desktop computer from Micro Center for $817.99 for a total project cost of $62,257.99 to commission the HVAC controller software and upgrade controller hardware for the buildings located at 2600 West Main Street. So moved. There are a second. Discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigginton, Aye. Sullivan, Aye. Hazel, Aye. Whitaker. Aye. Motion's carry, Mayor. For okay. 11 B2, I'll defer to another member of the Finance Committee. Yeah. Uh, 11 B2 is a motion to approve the 2021 tax levy. Uh, motion to approve as submitted. Okay. Any second? Schaefer. Any discussion? Yes. Uh, this was an issue that had a lot of topic, a, a lot of conversation in finance. Uh, one issue I've reviewed thoroughly uh, and have some, some concerns on the approval of this motion as it's presented. Uh, just 64 days ago, we sat in the same council chambers and approved an audit that was submitted to us, and I'm just going to provide a highlight of that audit. It says the following are a few financial highlights presented in the accompanying statements for the City of Belleville for the fiscal year ended April 30th, 2021. The City's total net position for government and business type activities increased by $21 893,886 during fiscal year 2021. Net position of the city's pension trust funds increased by $21,158,022. The fund balance of the city's government funds increased by $6,455,193 during the current fiscal year, including an increase of $2,717,305 in the general fund. Additionally, so as we talked about this 64 days ago, we, we commended our finance staff for the great work they did and in those amazing numbers, some of the best investments and, and positive uh, increases in our funds that we've had in, in several years. And here we are 64 days later wanting to pass a property tax increase to the residents of our city. Um, as I look at the, the projected budget that we have for this year, uh, it's a total budget of $28,654,020. And yet the, the tax levy that's sitting in front of us today would, imp would only increase the amount of money into the city by $48,000. Uh, therefore, based on that, for us to do our fiscal responsibility as city officials, I, I cannot support uh, a property tax increase. If we can't find $48,000 in a $28 million budget, I don't know that we're all doing our best as elected city officials. Therefore, I would encourage a no vote on this tonight. Okay. Any discussion? Thank you, Alderman Whitaker. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Jane, Elmore. Jamie had pointed out, and, and I hear Alderman Whitaker loud and clear, and that those are some excellent points. 
Jamie had pointed out that um, this is uh, three or, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jamie, three or four dollars for a hundred thousand dollar house a year. Uh, last time we had this discussion, we didn't raise the tax levy at all. We went through a very trying year, and we all know that we have to, as we just had the previous conversation in the previous meeting, we all have to figure out ways to buy trash trucks. We're always looking at fire trucks and police trucks and just these on and on daily expenses. And uh, I know that Jamie and Alderman Whitaker commends her as well, that Jamie crunches those numbers like nobody's business. And uh, I'm glad that it's so minimal. Um, and the fact that it's minimal is I think part of Alderman Whitaker's point, which is very well spoken. But I'm glad that it's minimal and I don't want, to, I personally don't want to sit here and second guess Jamie. Jamie knows this stuff inside and out and if, if she says it's a minimal amount this year, well, good. That, that's good because we're doing good. Uh, $3 a year, if that's the cost of doing business, so be it. Okay. Right. Mayor. Yes. Alderman Omar, then are you saying that it's a good thing or a bad thing? I, I, you, I don't know if you got to that point. It's a we're, good thing that we're only asking $3 a year more per $100,000 of property tax. I'm glad it's not more. Right. Uh, it was nothing yeah. the last time we did this. Yeah. And, you know, so I, I don't know that if we're looking at raising fees to do more trash services or uh, fire truck equipment purchases or all the things that just takes to make the city run, I don't know that $3 a year for $100,000 of property is asking too much. But I think the point is that we're asking for anything. Correct. I mean, I, I applaud that. Yeah, we're, we're at a point where 64 days ago, we're, we're filing reports with record numbers of increases. Uh, for the first time in, in quite a while, we've been able to lower our tax levy contributions to police and fire because of the amount of money that, that they made last year, while still making sure we're fully funding those. Uh, but I have a hard time applauding those efforts, and then 64 days later, uh, going to our residents. The residents aren't hearing $3 on $100,000. They're hearing, you're raising my property taxes at a time where inflation is at its highest, where the economy is struggling to, to recover. They're hearing all those things. They're not hearing a $3 amount. They're hearing, you're raising my property taxes. As fiscal agents of this city elected to do this, I feel it's, it's in our best interest to find that $48,000 in a $28 million budget. Ms. And, and here's what I think is going to happen. We're going to raise a fee on something else. And so it could be trash. It could be, but it's still going to raise something. Possibly, but again, it, So we... in good conscience, are you going to be okay with raising a fee on everyone who's going to be doing something? Without, without evaluating what that increase would be, I couldn't say, I couldn't say that. Yes, we Mr. Wigington. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just going to invite Jamie up sometime for a little more explanation. Yes. You can do that whenever you want. Yes. And, and, and Alderman Schaefer, Alderman Schaefer, maybe yes, maybe no on a fee. We don't know. But when you're looking at a, bit, a budget this big, uh, and it, we only have to f have 48,000, I want to see the Belleville News Democrat, the headline say, City Council Overturns Proposed Tax Levy. Because for the, uh, and I agree with what, what they're saying, uh, inflation's up. Uh, uh, 30 percent, um, and uh, the, you know, the cost of living is going up, um, and it's. And I don't think in this case it's the dollars. This, whether it's 48,000 or 480,000, I think at this time it would be prudent for us to make a statement that even though it's a small amount, we're not going to raise taxes. Any more discussion? Jamie, could you address this and your thought process, please? So yes, tonight in front of you is a proposed increase to the tax levy of 0.42%, which is, does equate to about $48,000 on $11.4 million tax levy. Uh, through my analysis, this is the recommended proposal to fund the sources 
for the tax levy that go into the, our various funds. And we do not levy, let me make clear, we do not levy for our general fund that supports our day-to-day -day operations. We probably, it's probably about 80% that goes to our police pension, fire pension, and our IMRF pensions. So that is the vast majority of where this goes. Now, I will also remind you that last year at this time, we actually had a decrease of three, above 3% 3 on the tax levy. So this tax levy proposed tonight is not even where it was two years ago. It's lower. So uh, at that time, though, I had mentioned we had significantly decreased the library and the recreation budget, or the tax levy, excuse me, because of COVID. Those programs were generally shut down, um, so we knew we were giving the taxpayers at least a one-time significant decrease to the taxes to help with their burden. But I also said at the time that they would have to get back up to their operating levels when those functions were fully operational again, which they are. So uh, this is the levy that I'm recommending. Obviously, it is your levy to approve. You have to answer to the constituents a lot more than I do. Uh, also keep in mind, though, I want to remind all of you that I am also a resident of Belleville. I still have a residency requirement. But even if I didn't, I live in this town, so I have extreme personal incentive to keep these taxes as low as they can be as well because I don't want to pay them. <laughs> but I weigh that against um, making sure we meet all of our obligations here at the city. Jamie, do we know about how much we will will lose with the 6% uh, population decrease from... <coughs> right, so uh, it was just over 2,000 person lost uh, based on the census, certified census data that's starting to kick into effect uh, this month actually. Um, across all of our funds for income tax, use tax, motor fuel, it should be approximately $600,000 that we'll lose on a yearly basis. Okay, I appreciate your information and thank you for your hard work. Okay, any more discussion? Okay, roll call. Harris? Aye. Randall? No. Ferguson? No. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? No. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? No. Rothweiler? No. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigington? No. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? No. Whitaker? No. Duco? No. Nine no's, seven eyes. Okay, so it does not pass. Okay. Well, you need to have a tax levy because you have to file it. So there, I would suggest that there, that it's going to have to be a motion to amend it. Make it the same or something. And a motion to approve it as amended because you have to file your tax levy by next Tuesday. Right. I would make a motion to uh, carry a tax levy at identical amounts to the prior year, allowing the finance director to uh, allocate those funds to the appropriate level items as needed. Okay. Is that, is that possible? Is that... No, you guys will need to tell me which lines you want to decrease, because if I keep them the same as they were last year, we will fund more in pensions than we need to and less in other lines. So again, amend it, Tell me which line specifically you want to decrease. Which obligations will we not meet? And you have a deadline you're working on. Uh, next Tuesday. Okay. I don't know if we need to call a special meeting. With not that. between now and Christmas. <laughs> because Jamie will have to file the tax levy and with Christmas coming up this weekend, I don't know if the finance committee should meet again. Uh, well, I have a question. Yes, Chris. Is there a reserve saying that can be used to pay the $40,000 for the local line so that we have to be specific as to the reserves in which one? If you guys are wanting, if you guys are wanting to transfer money from the general fund to meet an obligation,
based okay. on the, the review of the levy that was proposed, both library and playgrounds were increased to an area not only to where they were prior to the COVID reduction, but also $10,000 ahead in both of those funds. So if we want to consider something of reducing each of those funds by $10,000 and then take the other $28,000 out of the tort liability, which uh, is our largest increase this year, um, then we could get into a situation where we did as today, where we had to pass a, a an amendment to to add additional money to tort levy out of the general fund. So no, that wasn't out of the general fund. As I discussed in finance, we took we had to use 300,000 of reserves in the tort liability fund, which is about half of those reserves because we're going to hit. We've already hit our budget for the year, and we're seven months, eight months through the year. So the claims keep racking up. Uh, if you guys want to pay the work comp and the liability claims that you guys always approve, we're already at $300,000 over budget. So again, if you don't want to increase that next year, you're going to be dipping through more reserves or have to fund it out of the general fund because those claims have to be paid. You tell me. Okay. I feel we do too. I don't know if you're in a position right now to amend it. If, if you haven't discussed how it would be amended. But okay. The, but the levy, the tax levy has to be filed by Tuesday. Yep. Yeah. So you would have to have a, a tax levy approved at a special meeting on Monday. Okay. In order to, to file it during the business hours Tuesday. <clears throat> Okay, so it looks like we're having a special meeting on Monday. I'll change my vote to a yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, uh, 7 o'clock usually? Or? Um, I, I, I will figure that out, but I just want everybody to know with the holiday that... I'm not available Monday night either, I'm so... Both. I'm yep, I'm out of town. So I would, I would suggest you have a finance committee meeting we could have the finance out. maybe at six o'clock well and it would have to be on tuesday or wednesday no have no. no we have to have 48 hours and then wednesday we're Thurs off thursday, a half a we day. Close, thursday we close at noon noon so we either have to have a morning which i know every most people here work we're going to have to do it Wednesday evening? Conceivably, we could still have a meeting on Thursday. Mary, are you talking about a meeting for finance only or finance and council both? I mean, I'm getting confused here it would on, have to be on who's going to meet. Yeah, well, it, it has, has to, to be approved. I mean, by we need council. to have both meetings. Or huh? the last meeting of the year. No, it, it won't be. Both. It can't be. We have to have both. Mm -hmm. At some we can't point finish business before it's Tuesday. Have business finished. I think we're going to have Maybe to you ought to go around the room and ask how many people are going to be out of town on Monday because it sounds like a lot of people are not going to be here. Are you we may, able to take a revote? I had Can three. we take it by Zoom? Can we do the meeting by Zoom? Or the council meeting on the vote after the finance committee gives their recommendations? Oh. That way people that are going to be out of town, I know Mr. Wigington's leaving <coughs> to go to Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, Dennis, do you have a suggestion? Yeah. Why can't we just do it Wednesday? I, I, I have to have 48 hours to post. Today's done. So I have to post, and all agendas have to be posted 48 hours in advance. That doesn't give us enough time. So we would almost have to. May I make a comment, actually? Yes. So this proposed levy has been out since November 29th. Mm -hmm. I didn't receive one phone call asking me to look at anything, make cuts, figure it out. Here we are at the 11th hour. You guys, we can't even find a meeting date because of the holidays and the deadlines. Yet nobody said, and even last Monday night, there was comments made to make cuts, but nobody had a specific suggestion. Otherwise, we would have made those cuts and brought it to you that way. Alderman Steele has a question on the floor. We can get a, an answer from the attorney and find out whether or not we can rectify the situation. Uh, are we able to, to vote on this again? Is that protocol? There'd have to be a motion to reconsider, and it, and it has uh, the motion has, and the second would have to come from somebody who voted in the majority. 
I make a motion to reconsider. Second. I'm sorry, who just said the second? Okay, hold on. Okay. Any discussion? We will now revote. This will be a vote to reconsider. Oh, vote on the motion. Okay. Is the motion approved to reconsider? Roll call. Randall? Aye. And this is just the vote on the motion mm -hmm. to reconsider, right? right. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. That motion carries. So okay. I need another, uh, we need a motion to approve, to approve and a second to vote on the tax levy. I'll make a motion to approve the tax levy. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Roll call. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? No. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor 15. -1. Okay, thank you. Okay, now motion from ordinance and legal review. Alderman w Wigington? And if the council uh, doesn't mind, these are pretty academic. I'd like to read them both at the same time. Be uh, on behalf of ordinance and legal, I'd like to make a motion to amend Title IX General Regulations, Chapter 91 Cemeteries, Section 91.32 Cemetery Fees regarding uh, niche, niche internment. Uh, 11C2, motion to amend Title IX General Regulations, Chapter 92, Health and Sanitation, Section 92.22, Residential Refuge Collection Fee, to add commercial refuge collection fees. So moved. There is second. Any discussion? Hearing none, a uh, roll call. Just oh, all in favor. no, ayes. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Okay, motions from Master Sewer Committee, Alderman Dittleman. Um, I too would like to, if I can, uh, read all three of these motions together and put them okay. together. And vote Please, on. Ed. <coughs> okay. On behalf of the Master Sewer Committee, then, on 11D motions from us, a uh, motion to waive formal bidding procedure to purchase one new Caterpillar GP50CN1 10,000 pound gas LP dual fuel pneumatic tire lift truck in the amount of $68,756 utilizing Sourcewell Cooperative Purchasing Alliance. In a matter of 11D2, motion to enter into an agreement with TWM for construction services for <coughs> Phase 5 LTCP, not to exceed $302,000. 11D3, motion authorizing sale conversion of waste department uh, vehicle. It's a Ford Ranger 2007. Uh, the VIN, last five numbers, 22091. Any discussion? Roll call. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. A motion from Planning Commission, Alderman Dittleman. Uh, 11 e, uh, motion for the Planning Commission to decide on Eddie's frozen custard, uh, 11 E1 and stake burger development. Site plan approval for the construction of an approximate 3,238 square foot restaurant building with associated drive through and outdoor dining on an approximate 40,361 square foot lot within a C2 heavy commercial district, parcel 08-19.0-102-009, Ward 8. The Planning Commission unanimously recommended approval with the following stipulations. 
the conditions of the director of water wastewater be met prior to the city council site plan approval conditions met the planning commission accepts the current dimensions of the parking spaces as nine feet wide by 18 feet in length extension of the apron future consideration of the dead end taken out to the next lot and awning added to the south side facade of the building with all present members voting in the affirmative with a vote of eight to nothing a second please Perfect. discussion hearing none roll call Ovian Aye. gentlemen Aye. Schaefer Aye. Steele Aye. Rothweiler Aye. Elmore Wygon Wigington Aye. Sullivan Aye. Hazel Aye. Whitaker Aye. Duco Aye. Harris Aye. Randall Aye. Ferguson Aye. Anthony Aye. motion carries mayor okay under communication Jenny can I read them together please yes, yes. please 12A Lincoln Theater Concerts 115 2022, 25 2022, 321 2022, and 42 2022. Lincoln Theater to host concerts Saturday, January 15, 2022, Saturday, February 5, 2022, Monday, March 21, 2022, and Saturday, April 2, 2022, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Request to close up to 10 public parking spaces and city parking lots at corner of North High Street and East A Street for safety zone and parking of equipment and trailers. Additional city services requested barricades 12B. Rummage Palooza Spring 4 9 2022. Request from Tapestry of Community Offerings to host Rummage Palooza Spring Edition Saturday, April 9, 2022. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on city owned parking lot, 10th and West Main Street. Parking lot closure. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Additional services requested. Barricades, no parking. Signage, picnic tables, and trash toters. 12C, honoring the Legacy Memorial Day 5K 5 30 2022. Request from Trail Life Triple Illinois 0078 to host their Legacy Memorial Day 5K Monday, May 30th, 2022, 8.45 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. Street closure request for rolling closure along 5K route and close one lane on West Main Street between 2nd and 4th Street. 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Additional services requested. Barricades, trash, shoulders, water, and police personnel. 12D, Belva Marathon, Half Marathon, 9-24, 2022. Request from Belva Running Club and Tulin's Running Start. To host the Bubble Main Street Marathon Half Marathon, Saturday, September 24, 2022, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Street closure request, West Main Street from Illinois Street to crosswalk between 2nd and 3rd Street, 4.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. City services requested. Trash totes, porta potties, personnel, picnic tables, electric, no parking signage, race in progress, signage, cones, fire truck with flag. 12E, Bubble Fire Department, Blood Drive, 221, 2022. Request from Bubble Fire Department to host a Red Cross Blood Drive on Monday, February 21st, 2022. 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Firehouse Number 4, 1125 South Illinois Street, Belva, Illinois. 12 F, St. Patrick's Day Parade, 3-12-2022. Request from the Ancient Order of Hibernians. So it's the St. Patrick's Day Parade, Saturday, March 12, 2022, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Street closure request, parade lineup, North 3rd Street from West A Street to West C Street, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Trade parade rolling route closure, 3rd Street to West Main, east to Douglas Avenue. Additional city services requested. Trash toters, barricades, no parking signage, cleanup, and personnel. Okay, we have all these uh, communications, and do I have a second on everything? Nope, I have no. a motion. A motion. Schaefer. Schaefer will make a motion. What is your second? All discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, uh, no petitions this evening. Resolutions. Motion to be read by title only. Resolution 3. 3425 and 3426. Jenny? Motion. Okay. Motion. <laughs> Schaefer second. Oh, that's right. I'm like, okay, people. <laughs> Too much on my mind. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Uh, the ayes have it. Jenny. 14A, Resolution 3425-2021, Resolution amending the annual budget of the City of Belva, Illinois, for the fiscal year beginning on the first day of May 2021 and ending on the 30th day of April 2022. 14B, Resolution 3426-2021, a resolution requesting permission from IDOT to close Route 159 for the St. Patrick's Day Parade, Saturday, March 12, 2022. Okay. Schaefer, so Any discussion? Uh, any other second. second. Roll call. Gentlemen? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Duke, Aye. Duke, sorry. Duco? Aye. 
Eris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. Ordinances. Motion to be read by title only, Ordinance 9011, 9015, 9016, 9017, 9018, 9019, and 9020. Do you have a motion? And then a second. Anthony? Discussion? Yes. Can 9017 be considered separately? We have a. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, any discussion? Oh, we got to read them first. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I am really having trouble tonight. I better go home and go back to bed and then come back in. Sorry. <laughs> Jenny. We need, so, that was a motion to read them together for yes. example, 9017? Yes. Except nine. Yes. I don't think we voted. There was a motion and a second. Right. All in favor. Please. Aye. 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 Okay. Motion carries. <laughs> Jenny, you want to read? Do you care if I read them together other than 9017? Please. Right. Okay. 15A, Ordinance 9011, 2021, a zoning ordinance in regards to case 67, November 21, Eddie L. Chambers. 15B, Ordinance 9015, 2021, an ordinance approving an amendment to the tax increment redevelopment plan and redevelopment project for the city of Belleville, redevelopment project area number three and extending the term thereof to December 29, 2033. 15C, Ordinance 916, 2021, an ordinance providing for the annual tax levy upon real estate. The, Wait, that you was wanted, the one I went for. That's the one you wanted, yep, I had 9017, sorry. Okay. 15D, D. Ordinance 9017, 2021, an ordinance abating all taxes hereto levied for the year 2021 to pay the principal of and interest on general obligation bonds of the city of Belleville, Illinois. 15E, Ordinance 9018, 2021, an ordinance amending Title IX General Regulations, Chapter 91 Cemetery, Section 91.32, Cemetery Fees of the Revised Code of Ordinances of the City of Belleville as amended. 15F, Ordinance 9019, 2021, an ordinance amending Title IX Rep General Regulations, Chapter 92, Health and Sanitation, Section 92.22, Residential Refuse Collection Fee of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Belleville as amended. 15G, Ordinance 9020, 2021, an ordinance authorized sale and conversion of personal property, 2007 Ford Ranger truck, wastewater treatment plant. Okay. So we have a motion to approve. I need a motion to approve ordinances 9011, 9015, 9017, 9018, 9019, and 9020 as read. Tobu Wigginton. Second. Yes. Second. Aye. Discussion? Roll call. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Motion carries. Motion carries. Okay, now we will go back to our motion, our ordinance for 9016. 15C, Ordinance 9016, 2021, an ordinance providing for the annual tax levy upon real estate. Situation within, situated within the corporate limits of the City of Belleville and the County of St. Clair and the State of Illinois, subject to taxation for the fiscal year commencing on the first day of May 2021 and ending on the 30th day of April 2022. Schaefer, so moved. There is a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? No. Whitaker? No. Duco? Aye. Eris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dinnelman? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, no, we have no unfinished business. Mary, yes. Mayor, just one thing. Yes. Uh, I was just wondering if uh, Alderman Rothweiler, Randall, and Anthony were vying for the Gentleman Quarterly Best Dressed Man of the Year Award. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they look very nice. That's why I brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that under unfinished business? That was. <laughs> that was, okay. yeah. <laughs> okay, under miscellaneous and new business, we have a motion for motor fuel claims in the amount of $32,342.03. Steele? Second. Discussion? Roll call? Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Eris? Aye. Randall? Aye. 
Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay. Now, executive session. A motion to go into executive session to discuss the appointment, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific employees, collective negotiation matters, public office vacancy, removal, purchase or lease of property, sale or lease of property, and pending and or pro probable imminent litigation, including civil and workers' compensation. Do I have a motion? Schaefer. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. So we will now be going into executive session. Okay, good to go. Okay, I need a motion to approve collective bargaining agreement between the City of Belleville and the Illinois Fraternal Order of Police Labor Council. Double Wigginson. Okay, any discussion? Let's call for a roll call. Rockweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Arish? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Motion carries, motion. Mayor. Thank you. Now we need a motion to read by title only resolution 3427. <coughs> Schaefer, so moved. Second? Third. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Uh, so, Jenny, motion to approve. You motion to, to approve it? resolution 3427, a resolution authorizing and directing participation in opioid litigation settlement. Schaefer, so moved. Second? Harris. Any discussion? Hearing none, a roll call. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Aris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Obian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay, now we need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Discussion? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. How come that motion goes by so quick? <laughs> I just want to say 